This video will review repeated differentiation. So thus far we've looked at f of x where we have some value. So we have a function for a given input x. We have some output f of x. Then we looked at the function f prime of x, the first derivative of x. So that's equal to d f of x dx, some infinitesimal change in the function divided by some infinitesimal change in x which is equal to the derivative operator acting on f of x, which is the slope of a tangent line at that given value of x. So the slope of a function of a line that's just barely touching our function. So that gives us, f of x gives us information on the value of the function. f prime of x gives us information on its slope. And then a function which we'll call f double prime of x gives us information on its curvature. So this is the second derivative with respect to x, d squared f of x dx squared. And that's the derivative of f prime, or the derivative acting twice on our function, giving us information about the curvature of that function. Okay, so this operator, the second derivative operator, means to apply the derivative rules twice to whatever function that we have. So some examples that we can go through. We have second derivative of a polynomial would be the first derivative of our derivative rules applied to the polynomial. So n times x to the n minus 1 is the first derivative. Take the derivative of that, we would get n times n minus 1 x to the n minus 2. Our second derivative operator acting on e to the x, well the first derivative of e to the x is just e to the x. So surprise, surprise, the second derivative is also e to the x. Then we have things like sine, where the, or if we have sine kx, the first derivative of that through the chain rule is going to be k times cosine kx. And if we take the derivative of that again, using the chain rule again, we will get negative k squared sine kx. All right, so something where we have to use the chain rule, if we use the second derivative of e to the negative x squared, the first derivative of that by the chain rule would be negative 2x e to the negative x squared. So taking the derivative of again, now we have to use the product rule on negative 2x and e to the negative x squared. So we get, as the result, negative 2 e to the negative x squared plus 4x squared e to the negative x squared. So this comes up a lot in physics type applications because the acceleration of a given particle as a function of time is equal to the derivative of its velocity, which is equal to the second derivative of its position. We can remember that the velocity of a particle is defined as its first derivative with respect to time first derivative of its position with respect to time. So the acceleration is the second derivative with respect to position or the first derivative with respect to velocity, where each of those are just functions are describing the position, velocity, and acceleration as functions of time.